We are going to do a North African style uh, lamb dish now with uh, couscous and uh, garniture of vegetables. We'll roast a few spring vegetables uh, to serve with it and uh, finish with a little bit of wilted greens, some arugula from the garden, give a little bit of pepper. Uh, and I was delighted to find out a couple minutes ago that Ryan is uh, originally from Tunisia and I have marvelous memories of time in Tunisia and cooking in Tunisia and learning from uh, our uh, friend, our, we, we, are, we are actually now we are considered family, uh, Youssef's mom, and uh, to work in her kitchen and uh, to learn from her was a delight for me. So anyway, so we're going to do a lamb rack. Uh, and in my restaurant, we only leave one bone on the rack. And the reason we do that is because we want to use the other bones to make our sauce. So <clears throat> well, I've roasted some, uh, some small lamb bones. We're going to put it in with the vegetables we saved from our last, uh, last batch. And I'm going to add a little bit of lamb stock to this. And we're just going to let this simmer on the stove while we're getting everything else ready. Ryan is going to help make the couscous. And so we're going to do a little vegetable garniture and I'm going to get him started. When you cut a pepper, the best way to do is put the uh, top down and we're going to cut it in faces. We're not going to need very much. Always cut your peppers from the inside out. We are going to season our lamb with a little bit of uh, salt, white pepper, black pepper. I only put black pepper on red meat. And I am going to put some smoked paprika on here. In the summertime in Tunisia, they are going to use, make things a little less spicy. And they're going to use predominantly smoked paprika. In the wintertime, it'll be a little spicier to keep you warm. And they are going to use a few more aromatics. They're going to use some cinnamon. They're going to use some uh, mace, nutmeg in their winter cooking more than in their summer cooking. Summer cooking is predominantly just a nice smoked paprika. When Ryan does the couscous, uh, he is going to uh, add in some Tunisian saffron, which is a whole flower saffron, uh, a little bit different than Spanish saffron, uh, certainly less expensive, uh, but you do get a nice saffron flavor from it, and it is a traditional to that culture and that's what we're going to use. These are turnips that I picked in the garden this morning and I'm going to use some baby baby carrots because our lamb isn't going to take too too long. He's going to use a little lamb and a little vegetable. He's going to leave me a little lamb stock in case I make a quick sauce. I'm going to bring the stock to a boil and we're going to add it into the couscous which we're going to put in a pan Mix with a little olive oil and the vegetables. Okay, we have our sizzle pan on for our lamb. I'm using olive oil. Olive oil is uh, a major industry in Tunisia. And they have beautiful olive oil that many of us eat all the time. If you look at your olive oil, it's bottled in Italy, but a lot of it comes from Tunisia and Spain. We're going to roast these vegetables on the same sizzle plate as the lamb. Can pick up some of the flavor from the lamb fat. Here I'm going to make a little bit of um, chickpea batter. Got some chickpea flour, a little bit of veg stock and an egg. We are going to take our onions and we're going to fry them. Take the broth from the bones, strain it through. And we're going to use just a little of the adobo, because the Tunisians like a little bit of spice. And we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste. All right, I have some fresh arugula from the garden.
Thank you.